Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Gaming and welcome back to the channel. And it's been a while since I uploaded a video to here. So I'm gonna try to make it as often as I can because I do have a lot of videos that I do wanna upload to this channel. So this is just me of trying to get things started. Anyway, today we're gonna be installing Freelancer, one of my all time favorite games of 2000s. And I think I beat this game a couple of times before and I've also played the mods and I play with friends. Anyway, it's a really great game and I'm just trying to bring back some memories. So if you guys are interested in installing Freelancer on either your uh, Linux desktop or on your Steam Deck, uh, these instructions should be able to help you. Now it's not straightforward to get the instructions working directly from Lutra, so I do have to make a little bit of a modification just to get things working. So here we go. Now on our desktop, uh, we're gonna first thing is grabbing the script directly from Lutris itself if you search for it. Even though you can, if I could spell, as you can see, there are multiple editions on here and you could kind of figure out which one you want, but this is not where we're gonna install it because we do need to manually patch it ourselves. Now, I like to stay with the OG, the original game, basically just with the um, widescreen uh, support because all our screens now are all widescreen. Uh, other than that, you guys could use the HD edition and everything, which also includes the widescreen fix, but also HD textures. The game looks spectacular with the HD edition, but it does take a toll on if you got an older CPU or older GPU that can't play modern games, uh, you might want to stick with the original. So I'm going to stay with this one, which is called the CD-ROM, and it does have the Jason's Freelancer patch, which is the widescreen support or JFPL or LP. Um, anyway, I'm not going to install from here. What I'm going to do is open up my browser, go over to Lutris, search for the same exact game. So I'm going to go over here uh, and download that edition. But what I'm going to do is grab this and download the script. All right. So from here, I could just uh, save and I'm gonna call it Freelancer CD ROM JSON and save it into my, on my downloads folder. And in here, this is where I'm gonna modify this. So I'm gonna go over to my text editor and modify it. Now it doesn't look as pretty as the JSON format in the web browser. So I'm gonna show you what we need to change. In here where it has task number two and other ones could be task number one, but this one is task number two and it says disk setup wine exe game dir. so what's going on is that every time we try to install the game you get a runtime error code of 256. so what we need to do here is actually interrupt that and add that code in called return code 256 so it knows hey once we're done with that installation and that error kicks on we're going to continue the process um, now i'm going to pop back into my editor again it's a mess so what i do is i just look for disk slash setup and it's like right here, this little section. Right after game door, just put a comma, quote, and put in return underscore code. And then pass the quote, put colon, and then space 256. And you're all done with the patch. That's all you need to do, and it should continue the install. So jumping back into Lutris, I'm gonna cancel that. And I am gonna cancel this install. Minimize everything, close this out. Actually, I could just leave this up. I'm going to hit add again, but this time I'm going to install from local script, go into my downloads and select my freelancer CD-ROM JSON, install. Now I do need my CD-ROM pre-mounted, so I'm going to have my freelancer CD ISO pre-mounted. Uh, I'm going to hit install. It's going to download all these sources, which is fine. Give it a minute. It's quick. From here on, you could either browse where the CD-ROM location is or just hit auto detect. Auto detect seems to work very well for me, but if you're on Steam Deck, I think you do need to manually browse. Well, apparently it doesn't want to browse on this computer, so I'm just gonna hit browse over here, go to my CD, hit okay, and there we go. It should have auto detected, but it didn't. So now you just go through express install and we are all done. All we have to do now is just close and normally you would have seen that 256 error code and then it would have froze, like stopped working. It's continuing on the installation, just follow the prompts. Uh, Windows media format, yes. Uh, what is this one? Yes, I need this one. This one is the widescreen patcher. Uh, I don't need to view the patch details. I'm gonna hit finish. Next one is, do you wanna increase draw distance? I'm gonna say no because I wanna stay true to the origin or OG. So I'm gonna say no, you could hit yes, it's up to you. 
I just like to play the game how I remember it. As old as it is, I like the graphics as it is. And all we have to do is hit launch. All right, we're gonna accept these terms and should boot up. And there we have it, Freelancer. It is so impressive, I love this game. It's working with the CD patcher. Again, if you get the HD package on this game, it is in completely different. Like these will be so smooth, the ships are beautiful. Like the HD texture package does make this game look so much better. So if you wanna experience this game on that environment where everything looks so different, even though it's an old game, uh, I would give that a try. I'm gonna jump into a new game. And obviously you guys probably know the intro. If you don't, highly recommend playing the storyline. This is such a good storyline. Her name's Junko Zane. Well, the only thing I'm looking for right now is this drink. Some of the government feel that we need to increase our patrols in these areas. <clears throat> you Junko Zane? Yes? I believe you have business to discuss. Wait! I will leave this matter in your capable hands. Sorry, the bartender said you work for the Liberty Security Force. And who do you work for, Mr. Uh... Trent, I work for myself. What kind of ship do you have? I lost mine on Freeport 7. I see. Are you staying in Liberty long? I've got a friend who was injured in the attack. He's in medical. I'll be staying at least until he's released. Well, as it happens, I could use a good freelancer, Mr. Trent. I'll be in the equipment room later. You can meet me there. Oh, and if we are going to work together, call me Junie. Hello? I'm pleased to see you. Are you ready to work for the LSF, Mr. Trent? It's just Trent. And yeah, I'm here to see what you have to offer. Well, I found this ship for you. It's very basic and you won't have jump access yet, but it should be good enough for now. This assignment will be easy. All you have to do is babysit a convoy of food and medical supplies. You'll be hooking up with the escort CO King. I'll tell him to expect you. That is, of course, if you're interested. Sounds good. I'm in. Good. Better get going. I'll have your ship moved immediately. All you'll have to do is go to the landing pad and launch. King will be waiting for you near the docking ring in space, okay? I'll see you when you get back. Thanks. That whole intro and the talking and everything took about 10 minutes just to get into the game. But we are in. I am going to launch. Actually, you know what? I'm going to save the game just so I don't have to do that again and now i'm gonna launch all right man i remember this game you must be trent i'm king the ceo of this mission i contacted the lead transport of the god boy this? nope they've completed pre-launch checks and are ready to go should be an easy run from here to Fort Bush, and then on to Pittsburgh. Ready? It's good to meet you, King. Is that a Rhineland cruiser? That's the Donau, Admiral Schultz's flagship. He's visiting Manhattan to attend a high-level meeting with President Jacoby. Keep your distance. New York Station, this is RNC Donau, requesting clearance to dock with your station. Oh. Roger, Affirmative, please, Donau. Sure. You are cleared for docking point six. Liberty welcomes you and Admiral Schultzki. I'm telling you, for a game that's from 2003, this is still pretty high tech. Advise caution. Understood, Newark. All escorts like they just don't make weapons. the games like this anymore. Affirmative. Ready to engage. Roger. Tracking incoming ships. Unidentified ships. This is Newark Station. You are entering restricted space. Alter course at once or we will open fire. New York, do not interfere. We're here to protect the president. Shulsky is a traitor. All escorts. Red alert. The Donau is hit. Launch all rescue and defensive units. All other fighters engage enemy ships. No! Oh my god. 
SF Patrol Gamma 6. Engaging enemy. Confirmed, Gamma 6. Get away! Engage the enemy! Newark! We need reinforcements! Interceptors are en route. The Colorado and its escort are inbound. Anyway, that is it. If you guys have any questions about this, hit me up down in the comments below. Or if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.